It's rare where you get to work with legends, of course, some of the people that I love in comedy, and of course, uh, Animal Adorable Rescue, just in case Nickelodeon picks this up. You're right. <laughs> Can he smell laughter? What's up, boy? <laughs> Can I just say one thing right yes, now? Yes, sir. This woman, to me, and many others, uh, uh, is a hero, and by that I mean she, she went oh, on. <laughs> Come on, Glenn. She went on the radio at a time when the atmosphere in this country was repellent and loathsome and uncivil, and she brought a, an incredible amount of intelligence, dedication, research, wit, and passion. Rarely heard on the radio, and she stuck to her gun. She was vilified by the right. I can't think of a, a, a more important person to have on your show. Then. And before you applaud, yeah. before you applaud. Thank you. And she's funny. Fucking funny. Yeah, and oh, she's fucking yeah. funny too. Hey Paul, who brought the uh, loop for this stroke fest you're putting on tonight? <laughs> <laughs> he had a great show, the After Hours. Insomnia, yeah, it was Insomnia. a great show. Oh, come on, Bell, you're, you're acting like you don't know. Who are you, Mark Twain? You know no, what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> what, what the hell is happening yonder? <laughs> What the, come on. You son of a bitch, if I could get over there, I'll be there in 20 minutes. He's gonna beat me with a slave. Hey, you know, Bells, no, I don't intend this as You innocent. can't hurt me, Bells. Okay, but you kind of look can like I? George Burns with AIDS. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's not, that's not an insult. I not an insult. The only time Paul has a funny bone in his body is when I fuck him in the ass. But yeah! Aside from, aside from that. This is like great 80s comedy, fucking balls to the wall, yeah. This is good. This is how it used to be. This is a couple of white guys throwing down. Yeah! Doug will play a bowling alley and abortion clinic. He doesn't give a shit. He's great. He honestly is. He's good. He's the real deal. Well, you play people's homes, right? I played a backyard uh, in Vegas, and it was fucking great. I mean, with all this social networking, it, there's no need to fucking involve clubs anymore. It's better the devil you know, because if you, if you cut the clubs out, then you'll just get some shyster that you don't know coming in. You could say it, Jew, Glenn. Glenn. You could say it. This is America. I thought that's, shyster. I thought that's what shyster meant. <laughs> don't dance around. Uh, Dave. Yeah? You landed a series about porn. How perfect How is that? Talking. Who are you, Piers Morgan? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Piers Morgan. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I, I do, I, I'm working on a show about old porn. You know, I don't have the big tissue issues that these people have here, but uh, actually, one of the stars of the show, can I get a, another one, too? Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. I didn't know you had, like, uh, the Kings of Leon doing the bottle service. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hip show, dude. How hip can you be? Oh. Anyway. It's about porn. What do you mean? Like 50s, Like, uh, 60s? no, the golden age, like the 70s, early 80s, you know, the, uh, the whatchamacallit, your deep throat, exactly. The ones yeah. you were jacking to. When it was more arty. Where did we work together? Cleveland. In Cleveland, which is like Baghdad with snow, I swear That's to God. Right. There you go. There's only one eyebrow in that town. Yeah, you heard what I said. Um, well, his porn bit, have you seen his porn bit? Um, I, no, I didn't do that. He didn't do it when he was there. Yeah, it's about uh, the legality of porn. Yeah. And uh, you get sent stuff and you're not sure if it's legal. Like, we all know what porn's uh, illegal, like uh, kitty porn or coma porn or <laughs> kitty coma porn. That's the worst one. Coma porn is illegal? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was making the best of a bad situation. I don't know. <laughs> Porn. Without health care, you gotta make a living, come am on, I right? Come on. <laughs> Terry Shiva was asking for it by the way she was dressed. <laughs> Go ahead, dude. Let's hear it. You know that's illegal, but there's the, uh, the mid range, like you're not, like retarded porn. Yeah. Is that illegal? Do they care? Yeah, well, should it be? What do you think? No, not at all. It shouldn't be illegal. First of all, I am so sick of the retarded people living our dreams. Porn, <laughs> um, scoring a basket halftime at a basketball game. That's our fucking dream. <laughs> I know you're Canadian and you love everybody, but these fucking tarts are stealing our dreams. I'm not uh, living their dream. Oh, I got here in a car made out of chocolate. That's their fucking <laughs> retarded dreams. Not porn, basketball. Prom King, I fucking, I've got a whole um, podcast on this one. <laughs> Glenn, go. Let's hear the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Retarded porn. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a question of whether or not it should, it should be legal, and I think it should, because... Uh, no one would say that it's wrong for retarded people to act in regular movies. 
Well, what if they're not very good actors? <laughs> they should have the same right that every other bad actor's had since the dawn of celluloid, and that is to turn to porn. Right. I knew I stepped on it. If they can run the cafeteria at a museum, <laughs> surely they could cut a few fuck flicks. Uh, Do it. That's a bit that, But what was the other thing about this? You know, that's the cool, that's the charm of Canadian people. They're a little, like, enchanting and everything. Like, he's a very funny dude, and he's really cool. And the English guys and the Australian guys, right? Accommodating. Yeah, they're coming to our country, and they're uh, charming they the shit out of the audiences. Not with that piece of material. No, that was a great joke, dude. I'm sorry I cock-blocked you no, by throwing that fucking... Right. But that shows you how good it was. And he recovered well, nicely. He did great. I'll give it three <laughs> awkward pauses. Three right awkward pauses. <laughs> I think the dog's getting smoked out. dog. <laughs> the conch. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Their noses are so powerful. I, I know. think it's too much smoke for we'll a dog. There's too much smoke for a dog. They lick their own ass. Come on. I mean, honestly. <laughs> See, that's the problem, like, you know, animal rescue and stuff like that. Now, this is really inappropriate, so you guys can groan if you want. But, like, are you involved in animal rescue? You are. All right, well, let me just say this. We've rescued more animals than Jews during the Holocaust. <laughs> now, it's a true fact. It's a true fact. It's wrong, but it's true. A lot of the crowd are thinking, maybe if the Jews were more helpful and could find bombs and, you know, predict earthquakes like dogs, they would have lived. That's, that's where I was going. <laughs> Paul, what do you think? That would have been one of the cutest trainfuls of puppies, though. I'm right. I could put a puppy on a train. That's just wrong. <laughs> Even the dog liked it. Look at him, that Jew-hating motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. What? That was Why? gay. That was gay with a side of fag. That was the gayest. <laughs> oh, you used to use me as a punchline. Yes, I did. Give us some Paul Provenza punchline. Well, well, just, no, I used him I, as an example of bad 80s comedy. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't know him. At the, at the end of the 80s, there were so many, just every fucking comic that, you knew their name, but you didn't know why, and they all kind of... So I used Paul Provenza as... A, Only because it was an alliteration, PP. It wasn't him yeah. personally. Right. It was a funny right. name. But he was one of those... So you could have said, like, uh, Alan Havey or... No, like, Havey's like, great. Provenza you know? people knew. <laughs> <laughs> Havey's amazing. I love Havey. Yeah, Havey's a fucking genius. Are you still performing stand-up? I mean, I, I know I've seen I, you do I, benefits I actually and things. performed last Saturday night. I work with a band. Yeah. Oh. I do. What? No way, really? Come on. No, you don't. Delta, really? What did, I, what did I do wrong? No, no, I mean, I always remember you as like the fucking no, take it to the crowd we, guy. Yeah, no, but I was brought up on full service performers, impressions, singing, falling down, working the audience. Entertainers, all around entertainers. Yeah. So I felt like I had to be full service. Janine and I were on an island <laughs> together. That's right. We were on an island in 1992. Oh, this is a cool story. We yeah. did a comedy. We did a comedy special. It was for V. What is for some channel? And that chick. It was a funny chick. A uh, shiksa, blonde, tall shiksa. But I'm, I'm actually. Was it Ava Braun? No, they. Was she there? No, she wasn't there. A month after 9/11. You're right. And you announced that it was your first show, and you did say. You know what? I love Howard Zinn and I love Noam Chomsky, but it's time for them to shut the fuck I up. I did not. I swear to God you did not. I cannot I... accept about the late Howard Zinn and Noam Chomsky that I would have said that. And also that you take such delight in bringing that up. My pride will not allow me to go on record as saying Howard Zinn and Noam Chomsky should shut the fuck up. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's been three minutes. No one said Noam Chomsky. What's going on here, Paul? <laughs> We're dropping the ball. We're never gonna get on the cover of you Yawn Magazine. <laughs> Here, let's talk about the Middle East more. Okay. All right, now the turban, not the most fun hat ever. Am I right or what? <laughs> Paul, thoughts? Glenn, anything? Well, you look good in a turban. You think so? Yeah. I look more like an interpreter. Can, I, can we just shout out and say goodbye oh, to yes, Robert Schimmel? Oh, yes, excellent. Yeah. To Robert Schimmel. Robert, to Robert Schimmel. Schimmel. Is... Yeah. And to Greg Giraldo! Yeah. Greg Giraldo! We got one the other night, though. This Schimmel, looks good already. For those of you young people out there, Schimmel is an amazing comic. And he took everything God threw at him, and he turned it into funny. 
and everything. I cannot say enough good things about the guy. Uh, I love him. I love Bob immensely. And while we're at it, the great Rich Jenny. Oh, there you go. Rich Jenny. Hey. No longer with us. Definitely. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, right? Richard Jenny passed away. He was a huge influence on me, taught me how to write a he joke was phenomenal. a bit. And when he died, Anna Nicole Smith died. They were on fucking, they were showing that bitch like she landed on Mars for like three weeks. And then it was like, and Richard Jenny died. He was the real deal. He was great. He was really underappreciated. <laughs>